Ahlan wa Sahalan. Welcome to Jordan, a peaceful modern country filled with sights and sounds as old as time. In Jordan, you can step in the very place where Jesus was baptized, wander one of the world's great wonders, float in the Dead Sea, and dine with friends under desert stars. Hospitality is legend in Jordan, the Switzerland of the Middle East, it's been called. Come, walk with me, and I will show you. There are many routes to discover in Jordan, and the King's Highway connects them all. From the Red Sea in the south to the desert east, Jordan River west, and Amman in the north. It is easy to follow your own path in this historic and biblical land. So many already have. The King's Highway brought Moses and his people from Egypt as they wandered into the Holy Land. The wise men, too, crossed over on their journey to Bethlehem. Pilgrims linger still as they travel the Hajj to Mecca or follow the steps of Jesus. At the airport at Amman, Jordan's King Hussein becomes the first Arab ruler to receive... Jordan was the first Arab country to host an official papal visit. King Hussein welcomed Pope Paul VI in 1964. The Pope's pilgrimage to the land of Jesus Christ and the birthplace of Christianity is to be three days of devotion at the most holy places in Christian history. Today, I am in Jordan, a land sanctified by the presence of Jesus himself. The next three followed him, including Pope Francis, who also began his Holy Land pilgrimage in Jordan in the company of their majesties, King Abdullah and Queen Rania. Welcome to Gordon. For centuries, the spice trade converged on Jordan and brought the world with it. The Greeks settled here. The Romans built on their legacy. Crusaders fortified the passes. And the Nabataeans dug in, stepped through a canyon slot into Petra, the ancient Rose City. Homes, shops, churches, and fountains hand-carved into the multicolored sandstone. Decorated with wisdom. Inhabited for centuries. And still by day or night, a true wonder of the world. But if it's adventure you seek, come jump into a natural reserve. Splash your way up the Mujib Gorge. Scramble over the wind-carved Donna Reserve and stroll under the forests of Ashlun. Then treat yourself to a spa as King Herod and Cleopatra did centuries ago in the natural hot springs of Ma'in. Adventure of a different nature awaits in Wadi Rum. Climb a stone bridge to the sky. Slip through canyon walls inscribed by wind, water, and a mere 4,000 years ago, human hands. Follow the path of Lawrence of Arabia to a festive night under desert stars. Then 
soar among eagles over this amazing valley, which Lawrence called vast, echoing, and godlike. Just to the south of Aqaba, explore the cooling shores of the Red Sea. Then, plunge beneath to swim and snorkel in a vibrant world. Or drift north to the lowest point on Earth and the highest you'll ever float, the Salty Dead Sea. In Jordan, every step forward takes you back. Back in time to the people and places of antiquity. And if scripture is your guidebook, let it lead you to Aaron's tomb, where he died on the first day of the fifth month of the 40th year after the Israelites came out of Egypt. Mount Nebo, where Moses looked over the land I promised on oath to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Elijah's Hill, when suddenly a chariot and horses of fire appeared, and Elijah went up to heaven in a whirlwind. From the Gospels, you'll find John the Baptist's cave. I am the voice of one calling in the desert. Make straight the way for the Lord. The Decapolis, where Jesus traveled throughout to reach and teach the multitudes, perform miracles, and cast out demons. Bethany beyond the Jordan. Fifth century pilgrims mention a place five miles north of the Dead Sea on a lofty church where marble steps descend into the water. After channel altering earthquakes, 14th century crusades, and 20th century wars, the abandoned site seemed lost to time until the discovery of a church floor map in Madaba. These ancient polished stones pointed the way. Renewed exploration to unearth the very place where Christianity began. I baptize with water, John replied, but among you stands one, the throngs of whose sandals I am not worthy to untie. This all happened at Bethany, beyond the Jordan, where John was baptizing. Newly revealed in a protected wilderness park, welcoming pilgrims the world over to Jordan. Every day, calls to prayer from Imam's great mosques resound through the city echoing over homes, cafes, markets, blending with bells, psalms, and prayers from multiple churches. And as evening lights beam from the capital city, they shine on miraculous intersection of the three great monotheistic religions, a daily reminder of Jordan's religious tolerance and a blessed hallmark of this nation. A land of peace, hospitality, and smiles. Welcome to Jordan! Welcome to Jordan, welcome! Bye. Come share a tea or coffee. Try new flavors, savory and sweet along the street, in our shops, maybe even in a home, Jordanians are that friendly. Browse our markets and barter with the best. Sleep well in our cities, villages, and deserts. Then, 
follow your feet to wherever your heart leads. Ahalan wasahalan. You are truly welcome in Jordan. For to us, you are God's guest. Come, please, and walk with me. Live your list and book your Jordan journey now. Visit myjordanjourney.com and visit jordan.com for more information. Production of Welcome to Jordan was made possible in part by our partnerships and sponsors. Air travel provided by Royal Jordanian Airlines. Fly the Dreamliner nonstop to Amman, Jordan. Book on rj.com. Columbia Sportswear. Footage was made possible with the help of Columbia Sportswear and their Omni 10 team visiting Jordan. Isla Aviation Academy. Footage from the air was made possible with the sponsorship of Isla Aviation Academy. Contact the Academy for hot air ballooning, gliding, or any other aero sports.